Are you a food service supervisor and want a better life in Canada? Watch this video till the end to know how you can move to the paradise of immigrants as a food service supervisor. Hey everyone, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. This channel gives visa information and the latest news and updates. First things first, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and download the free cheat sheet my team has prepared from the link in the description. You should also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest visa news and updates. Now, let's begin. First, let me ask you this question. What are the requirements to move to Canada as a food service supervisor? There are some unique items that you need to fulfill as a food service supervisor. As you want to emigrate through a work visa, you must have some conditions to become eligible for one of the Canadian immigration programs. I'll explain these programs a bit later. But here is the list of requirements you need. The first one is proof of having enough funds. You must prove to have enough funds to stay in Canada. Applicants can submit bank account balances or bank statements indicating their financial independence. The financial capability must clarify that you have enough funds to pay your expenses for one year. If you have a job offer, your employer can undertake to cover your initial expenses in Canada. But Proof is often needed to show you can cover your initial expenses. If you have a family or children, you must also have enough funds for them. The amount you need is up to the city you live in. The cost of living is higher in expensive cities like Vancouver than in average city like Windsor, but it's about $1,000 to $1,200 per month. The second item is work experience. You need work experience as a food service supervisor to be eligible. Also, you must have proof of it. Remember that every claim in your application must be supported by evidence. Your work experience must be at least one year of full-time or the equivalent time in a time position. Three years of part-time work experience would be enough. The third requirement is adaptability. Canada has cold weather and the winter is harsh. A freezing winter is coming every year except for the white walkers and the night king. You must be able to adapt yourself to the weather, living conditions and lifestyles. Take Jon Snow as your role model and adapt yourself to it. If you are not working there and continue life is hard would be hard for you this is why it's required to have a medical certificate to be healthy and have no medical issues. If yes, it becomes hard to emigrate. The fourth requirement is a job offer from a Canadian employer. Having a job offer from an employer or a company in Canada is often needed. You do not have to hold it, but it increases your score in the immigration programs to a large extent. You can get 50 to 200 points in these programs through a job offer. Also, the employer can cover your expenses. Your financial capability and the chance of getting accepted into the program increases. The fifth item is educational requirement. Applicants who have not completed secondary school education are not eligible to immigrate to Canada. This is true with the food service supervisors. Also, there are some jobs and positions that require further educational certificates. You need to find out about the positions you want to work in. If there is a particular requirement with the job and you do not hold it, it it becomes unlikely that your application will get approved. Moreover, an educational certificate increases your point in the express entry. Let's take a look at the CRS points for your education. 1. Less than high school, 0 points. 2. High school diploma, 30 points. 3. One year diploma, 90 points. 4. Two year diploma, 98 points. The sixth item is age requirement. The eligible age to work in Canada is 18 years old, and if you are younger, you cannot apply. In some special cases, it might be possible, but often not. People aged 18 to 35 get the highest score in the express entry. Applicants aged 20 to 29 years old get 100 scores with a spouse and 110 scores without a spouse. You can find out more information about the age points in the visa library article. The link is in the description. The seventh item is language requirement. Language proficiency certificate is a must for people who want to work in Canada. IELTS and CELPIP are the approved English language tests. TEF and TCEF Canada are the approved language tests for French. This item cannot be ignored or waived unless you have studied in one of the languages or you are from a country whose major language is English or French. Alright then, this was the requirements for you as a food service supervisor to move to Canada. Now let's get familiar with the Canadian immigration programs that let you enter the country as a food service supervisor. The first one is Express Entry. You can call Express Entry the most famous Canadian immigration program. It's online 
design and applicants get picked by a score-based system. The factors that determine your score in the Express Entry system are these items. Type of skill you have, education, employment background, language proficiency certificate, final, financial independence proof. These are just the items I explained a bit earlier. You need to increase your score by points to get invited to apply for PR or permanent residency. Express Entry is a major immigration program. It has some sub subcategories that you have to apply through one of them. They are different and the requirements vary. You have to find out which one is appropriate for your conditions. The first one is Canada Experience Class CEC. People who have work experience in Canada can apply for CEC and receive PR. It's required that they have one full-time or three years of part-time work experience in Canada. It's not appropriate for people who are outside of Canada and have never worked in the country, as the main point is to have Canadian work experience. The second subcategory is the Federal Skilled Worker Program, FSWP. Canada has a lot of in-demand job skills that get called NOC or NOC. If your skill is on this list, you can apply for Federal Skilled Worker Program. The NOC code for Food Service Supervisor is 6311. Candidates receive points on their conditions and there is a fixed point for each factor. Language proficiency in English or French, education, enough work experience, age, job offer from a Canadian employer, adaptability. The higher your points, the higher your chance of getting picked to apply for PR. Language requirements for Federal Skilled Worker Program are English and French, and the approved tests are these ones, English, CELPIP and IELTS, French, TEF and TCF. A PhD degree gives you 25 scores, and master and bachelor's degrees give you 23 and 21 scores respectively. In terms of work experience, you will get 9 points for 1 year of work experience. The highest point is 15 for people who have 6 years of work experience and more. The younger the applicants, the higher your points. People aged 18 to 13 will get 12 points, which is the highest. Candidates 46 years old get 1 point, and the ones 47 and older do not get any any points for age. You also need to have enough funds to cover your expenses in Canada. The required fund for one applicant is 12,960 Canadian dollars, while a couple needs 16,135 dollars. When your application is complete, you will enter a pool of applicants. The ones with the highest points will get picked to apply for PR. In the meantime, you can work on your application to improve it. Getting work experience or a language proficiency test are examples. The third subcategory of the express entry is the Federal Skilled Trades Program, FSTP. The difference between Federal Skilled Trades Program and Federal Skilled Worker Program is that you do not need higher education in the Federal Skilled Trades Program, but you need it in the Federal Skilled Worker Program. The jobs on the NOC list differ in these two immigration programs. Federal Skilled Trades Program is to bring skilled workers in the industrial and service sector to Canada. The eligible applicants need to have language proficiency test, two years of work experience, fulfill the NOC job list, job offer from a Canadian employer. Language proficiency tests for Federal Skilled Trade Program are English and French, and the exams are just like Federal Skilled Worker Program. You can find more information about Federal Skilled Trade Program from Visa Library article. The next immigration program you can use to enter Canada is Provincial Nominee Program, PNP. One of the subcategories of Express Entry is PNP. It permits Canadian territories and provinces to bring the skilled workers they need to their provinces. Although PNP allows applicants worldwide to immigrate to Canada, not everyone is eligible to apply. Applicants must have the required job skills by province, work experience, and educational background. All Canadian provinces have PNP except Quebec and Nunavut. They have their own immigration programs to bring skilled workers to the country. You can visit the official website of each province and find out more about job opportunities and programs. Also, if you're looking for a job, try to find one in one of the above provinces to get nominated in one of the provincial programs. If you're asking how to find a job offer in Canada, some websites advertise job positions. You can find a list of them in the Visa Library article. Eligibility and the requirements for each PNP are different. You have to visit the website for each PNP to find about them. As I told you, Quebec province doesn't have a PNP, but it has its own immigration route, which gets called Quebec Experience Class QEC. People who have studied or worked in Quebec 
can apply for QEC and receive PR directly. They need to be fluent in French and meet the program's requirements. QEC is not a score-based system and it's different from Quebec Skilled Worker Program. Applicants need to meet the qualification to apply for it. Be 18 years old, settle in Quebec, have a clean record in Quebec under CUA key, have French fluency test, and have a degree certificate achieved in Quebec. These are the accepted language tests to show French language skills TEFAQ, TCF uh, Quebec, TEF, TEF Canada, TCF, DELF, and DALF. The next program that lets you enter Quebec is Quebec Skilled Worker Program, ASWP. Quebec Skilled Worker Program is a pathway that allows the Quebec province to bring skilled workers from outside of the country. It permits applicants to apply for PR directly, but they need to have the required skill and work experience to be eligible. Like QEC, applicants of Quebec Skilled Worker Program need to be fluent in French, particularly in communication skills. Quebec Skilled Worker Program is similar to PMP except it is only for Quebec province. It works on a score-based system and applicants get evaluated based on education, work experience, age, language proficiency, having a family member in Quebec, apply with or without a spouse, having a job offer, and financial independence. Applicants get a score for each one of the factors I explained. The final score varies by your conditions. The least required score is 59, but you need a higher point in the com as the competition is tough and there are thousands of applicants. All right then. These were some of the immigration programs you can use to move to Canada as a food service supervisor. But now, how should you apply and what are the steps you, you have to follow? Stay a bit longer to find out. For the first step, you should pick an appropriate immigration program. It makes a huge difference whether you are inside or outside of Canada. Move back a few minutes and watch carefully the, pro the programs I explained. Figure out whether this program is appropriate for you or not. You can read more about each one of them in the visa library article. There are detailed information for each method. This could take time but you can ask your questions from the visa library. Mighty will answer them eagerly and guide you on what to do. While you do research, determine if you're qualified for the program you have picked or not. Each immigration method has requirements and eligibility principles. For instance, Quebec Experience class requires you to have studied or worked in Quebec. If you do not hold such requirements, it's unlikely that you will get accepted. Read every line of qualifications with care and determine whether you can fulfill them or not. As Express Entry is based on a score-based system and the competition is tough, you have to to be eligible and get the highest score to have a chance. So pick the immigration method wisely and gather as much as information as possible. The next step is to, get, is to gather the supporting documents. To prove you are eligible to live and work in Canada, you have to submit a list of supporting documents. Each immigration program has its list of supporting documents. You can find it by going through the menu of the site visa library and reading the related article. It could take time to gather the list. Also, there could be a deadline for submitting them. So you'd better prepare some of the documents that do not have an expiry date and have them translated. For instance, a clean record certificate has an expiry date and it cannot be older than a month to 40 days at the time of application. Consider these points when you collect the supporting documents. After you are done collecting the documents, you have to create a profile and submit the documents. You need to create a profile on the IRCC website and submit the requirements. The link is in the description. Applicants have to submit the scanned form of documents and complete the forms. Complete each step with care and double check everything. So you have to complete everything with care and not make mistakes. In case you insert false information, your application won't get processed. Now is the turn for biometrics. If you have not visited Canada in the past 10 years, you must submit your biometrics, digital photo and fingerprints. You have to visit the VFS Global Center or the Canadian Embassy in your home country to complete the procedure. The center you must visit is up to your na nationality and the immigration program. You might have to visit the center in a neighboring country as well. Why a neighboring country? In some countries, there is no VFS center. You will receive a letter in your IRCC account as the biometrics letter. You have to print it and then schedule a time with the VFS center. You have to do it through their website. 
Just Google VFS Center in and type the name of your country. You will find the nearest location and address. After you book the meeting with them, they'll provide you a letter which you have to print and bring to the meeting with the biometrics letter and your passport. Visit the center on the booked date and bring the documents. The procedure will be over in a few minutes and your IRCC profile will be updated after it. Then you have to wait for processing. The processing time is different for each immigration method. For instance, the express entry processing time took about two years during the COVID-19 pandemic, but the officials have shortened it to six months and like before the pandemic. In the meantime, you can work to improve your application. For instance, you can take another IELTS or French test and get a higher score to improve your scores. You can find out how to improve your score by reading the eligibility principles. Also, the IRCC could ask for further documents. You should check your email regularly. If IRCC sends you a message in your application, you'll get an email to check your account. IRCC communicates with you through the account. When you get accepted, you will receive an invitation to apply for PR or continue the rest of the process. It's up to the immigration program. The officials will inform you of the rest of the application process and move to Canada. All right then, the process ends here. Now let's answer some of the questions you might have along the way. The first one is how much you will earn as a food service supervisor. Your salary is up to several factors. Your work experience, expertise, education, the place you work, the province, and other factors. But you can expect to earn about $27,000 as a food service supervisor. You can find more information about your income from the Visa Library article. It has provided the salary range by province and job positions. The next common question is whether you need IELTS or not. The answer is up to the immigration program you pick. English and French are the official languages in Canada. You will likely need English language tests and IELTS and CELPIP are their approved tests. If you immigrate to a French-speaking province, you need French test results as well. So you can say yes, you're likely to need IELTS. You'd better practice and improve yourself as much as you can. The more, the merrier. If you want to know which cities you can find a job better, the answer could be touristic large cities like Vancouver, Montreal, Quebec City, Toronto, White House, Regina, and Victoria. All right then, this was all you must know to emigrate to Canada as a food service supervisor. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. The Visa Library team will answer them. Before you leave, like this video, hit the bell and download the free PDF file that my team has prepared from the link in the description. You should also follow the Visa Library on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest Visa news and updates. Until the next video, thank you all for watching.